Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna be reacting to this guy. Don't know his name, but we've reacted to him in the past. Remember reacting to his video where he was saying that if you do not want to date trans people, you're transphobic, which obviously I disagreed with heavily right so let's see what he has in store for us today this may come as a shock to you but i experience a lot of rejection on the dating apps <laughs> i don't mean to be mean but it does not come off as a shock to me i'm sorry bro like i don't mean to be mean bro like it does not come uh as a shock to me right biological men they're not attracted to another guy right now are trans women women i believe trans women are not women and i say this with the utmost i say this humbly right with no animosity right it is a biological fact and it can be proven right so using that same logic we would then see why biological men would not want to date other biological men so it does not come off as a shocker to me right it, it honestly does not. It makes the perfect sense if you think about it. Most of the time, it's clear that my transiness is the issue. But there are times when I wonder if maybe there's something else about me these folks don't like. Obviously, I'm talking about on the inside because I am hot on the outside. I worry that maybe on the inside, bold claim to make but i guess self-confidence is really like everybody should have self-confidence right so it can't hurt i might just be average i know what you're thinking aaron you're so shallow and i thought about that and i think that most people are perfectly fine with my level of shallowness I get it. You don't want to date people with this or that particular genital configuration. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Personally, I'm platform agnostic. I, I don't care if you're rolling with a pole or a hole. But if genital configuration is a deal breaker for you and you're interested in dating a trans person, I have an easy way to deal with this. Okay. First of all, I am not uh, interested in dating trans people, right? But I'm going to indulge in this just to give you guys a little disclaimer, right? I'm not interested in dating a trans person. I am as straight as they come, right? So I'm going to indulge in this. Let's see. Let's say I was a trans person or I wanted to date a trans person, okay? We're going to apply that logic. Let's go. First of all, don't ask about our genitals. Our privates are private, period. How do you find out what they have in their shorts without asking? Tell the object of your affection your genital requirements up front. You see how unnecessary this is, right? And how being straight literally makes the, more, the, like the most sense, right? If I'm straight and I'm dating, if I'm a... Obviously, I am a biological man and I choose to date another biological woman. Then, simple. I don't have to wonder if, oh, if this person has a penis. Oh, if this person has the opposite of a penis. Like, you see, it's like, what you see is what you get. Unlike with these, or some of these trans people, it's almost like you're playing lottery, right? You don't know what you're going to get, but with biological people, you just get, um, I mean, they are still biological, you know, people. He's, he still is a biological man, but obviously he chooses to identify as something else, right? I, I believe if you were even to ask him, I believe if even, he, even if he sees this video, he would find it offensive because he will not like me misgendering him, right? Because he does not identify as a he, right? But back to my point. My point is this, that if you date somebody who chooses to stay rudely and chooses not to identify as something they are not, then what you see is what you get. Because when I see a woman, I don't think, huh, what if she has, you know, I don't think that, like, it never crosses my mind. When I see her, I'm like, okay, I gotta go there. And I go, boom. And, you know, whatever happens, happens, right? But then, if you use the same logic to 
trans people maybe a, he's a trans woman right he was a man transitioned into a woman which i would argue is still a man but again let's indulge in the concept right you go to him not knowing it's a he thinking it's a thinking he's a woman and then you get into a relationship with him and then he gives you this big revelation and it's like oh i um i have a penis bro like i'm trans i identify as a woman i feel like a woman but i did not want to go to undergo the surgery so i have a penis and if you love me you're gonna continue being with me bro i would leave i'm sorry because initially what this relationship of ours would have been it would have been built on lies right so i am justified to leave and even if i'm not justified i'm gonna leave either way okay so what you see is what you get with people who don't choose to identify as something but with people that choose to identify as non-binary trans and this it's a lottery at this point you don't know because apparently you're not even allowed to ask if you know they have a penis or or not right you're not allowed to ask they will probably take great offense in that so it's almost like we're walking on eggshells at this point right i noticed you're a trans woman i believe trans women are women but i only date vagina havers I just wanted to make this clear so that you can make the decision whether or not you want to move forward with dating me. And honestly, if you want to level up, put it on your dating profile. I'm a gorgeous, sexy transgender woman. Now, if you're a man who is looking at me and worrying about how you might be gay because you think, <laughs> think I'm hot, I've got some great news for you. You're not gay. You're just transphobic. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. So rest easy, transphobic dude, bro. You're gonna be just fine. Wow, and guys, please consider donating to my PayPal. I wanna better this channel, right? You guys can see it's open to everybody who's willing to see. This is not the greatest quality. This is not the greatest of the qualities, right? I could do better and I'm trying to do better, right? So please do consider donating to the channel if you want to support, if you're able. I really appreciate that. I'm almost close to getting another camera. And yeah, I think we'll get there very soon. So thank you so much to everybody who watched this video. If you do not have, great. Thank you. Like this video. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in another video.